world has gone. Are you all right, Miss Shun? My name is Xiao Shun. This is the proper way to address someone in my country. I do apologize, Xiao Shun. Are you all right? Yes, I am. This is the only place where I can find some kind of serenity. Some way to remember my dear Matthew. Have you recent news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? I heard that she used to help the refugees, but unfortunately you don't see her around anymore. Tell me how your husband died, Xiao Shu. Matthew died of the Spanish flu, like so many others. It's a mundane cause of death these days, but for me it meant the end of the world. At this time, there is so little medical science can do to defeat this terrible epidemic. I'm truly sorry. The worst thing is not his death, even if it tears me apart. The worst is not to have seen it coming. To have lost him so quickly, even before realizing it. Did he hide his condition from you? Matthew was a smiling type, a, a happy sort. Everything that I am not. Did he laugh at his death to come, or did he not realize what was going to happen? I'll never know. The Spanish flu may be the worst disease mankind has ever faced. Why are you blaming yourself? You don't understand. I didn't know he was so sick. I didn't realize the gravity of his situation until it was too late. As harsh as this sounds, we are all equally vulnerable to this awful disease. It can take the strongest man in just a couple of days. I never said goodbye to Matthew. We never realized how bad it was. We laughed about it even. He always made me laugh. Now I don't have enough tears to shed. Are you on your own? Do you have any friends or family who you could be with? I have family and friends, but I need to be here alone. One day maybe I'll go back to them, but not now. I need silence, and I need sadness.
You should not be by yourself. Grief can be a terrible trial. And it's even worse when you're alone. Thank you for your sincere words, Dr. Reed. I sense you trying to help me, even if I don't quite understand why. Are you a doctor yourself? Is this why you feel so guilty for not saving your sick husband? No, I am not. But I still need to blame someone for Matthew's death. And who else, if not his wife, who did not see it coming? I'm a physician. One of the best in the country. But I was unable to save my own sister, Mary. She died in my arms. Why tell me this? Is it supposed to make me feel better? No. But I felt I should share it with you. Since she is buried here, too. May I ask what caused the death of your sister? You could say she was also killed by a terrible disease. A disease I have sworn to fight and cure, no matter how long it takes. Thank you for sharing that with me, Dr. Reed. Maybe it's time we start to rebuild our lives, you and I. You should go home now. I think you're right. Cemeteries are for the dead, for they need silence too. Thank you for your honesty and your wisdom, Dr. Reed. Thank you for your company, Xiaoshun. Take care on the way home. Maybe I'll see you again in Whitechapel. Goodbye for now. Goodbye for now. Matthew. The world has gone completely mad.
Hello again, miss. Very well. Goodbye, then. Good evening, Mr. Nithercott. And good evening to you, too, my good sir. Can I be of any help? Do you need medical attention, sir? It may be wise to let you prescribe me something. I don't feel like I should. I understand your appetite for words and macabre beauty, sir. But you should be more careful. The nutrition of my mind is more important than my physical health. But I appreciate your concern, sir. Did you know the Mute Florist is a member of a secret society? No, I didn't. But I thank you for this information, sir. For it only enriches the mystery surrounding the precious Camellia. Have you recent news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? Not at all, sir. I'll leave you alone, sir. Good evening, Mr. Whittaker. It's Father Whittaker, my son. So, are you still lost in your rational delusions? I have found Samuel, your disciple. I am afraid I have bad news. I already expected the worst. He should already have come back. He is dead, isn't he? Yes, he is now. The epidemic took him. Samuel steadily made donations to our cause. He would have rewarded you himself if you'd found me in that awful cemetery. Please accept this money. Tobias Whittaker, confess why you burnt those people alive. I have done what no one was ready to do. I will smite the flesh of the unclean to protect the righteous. You're not the savior of London. You're just a glorified sadist. I take no pleasure in this awful cleansing, Dr. Reed. I am only driven by the thousands of innocents I save each night. <laughs> 